balancing principles and the facts within Codesmith, I always have workshops from first principles built out like your LLMs piece, but people sit down in pair programming and have to explain verbally how they're going to approach it to the other person who then has to implement it in code. There are pedagogical devices that can force one's hand to have to do as much as build the framework, the mental model. That balance to me is the beauty. I really like that concept of pair programming with one person explaining it to the other. That's a cool idea. It's always good to know these bedrock ideas. This question about principles, I have the perhaps arrogant point of view, I can understand anything. Most people are just a little bit too unconfident to be able to take that point of view. It's really powerful because if you really insist on understanding down to the bedrock, then when you start building up, it doesn't topple over. In terms of education, I have done mostly lazy education. I'm trying to explain things to people, but I'm not doing what you described, actually getting the people to practice those skills, develop it, and so on. A lot of people have never done a project that goes from nothing to something before. And it's very psychologically useful for people, but it's partly a psychology of thing of, can you do this? Absolutely. And Cosmith is basically someone saying, you can understand this from the bottom up. Cosmith is, you will come out of this program, have experienced struggle to build that foundation. Now you've got the conviction, but it depends on somebody believing in you. I think it's a very interesting issue. I do projects that go from nothing to visibility in the world. And people have been involved. It creates this glow. We are providing that to people in the, yes, you can do this original project and you can make it go from nothing to something.